Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We got a great one for you today. So you've built your site, you spent a lot of time on it, things are working perfectly. You don't want anything to go wrong with it. So what you want to do is back it up. And this is essential. You really don't want to lose your work. And just taking a few minutes to back up your site can save all kinds of catastrophes. If it's hacked, if there's an update that goes wrong and you can't get into it, this is going to save your life. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to my dashboard. We're going to go down to plugins. I'm going to add a new plugin. And I'm going to add a completely free plugin called WP Vivid, WP V I V I D. And there it is. You can go ahead and install it. Once installed, activate it. Once you've done that, it's going to open up the page here, the WP Vivid page. At the moment, we have no backups to back up your site. Simply hit the back up now button here. And it's done it already. It took about 30 seconds. This is a four or five page site here. We've elected to back up the database and the files, which is what I usually do, unless it's a really large site. And then you can just do the database if you want to. And once it's back one up, it puts the backup down here and we'll be downloading this and transferring it to a new site in a moment. What's also great about this free plugin is you can schedule backups. If you go over to the schedule tab, click the little enable backup schedule. You can do it daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly. Let's do this one fortnightly. Choose what you want to back up. We're saving ours to our local host. Basically, that's where this site's being hosted online but you can send it to backup storage by clicking on this. You can send it to your Dropbox or your Google Drive or your cloud, anywhere you like there. Once you set it up the way you want it to, we can save changes. Over in the settings, I don't usually change much over here. The amount of backups you want to retain, I've got mine set to three, which is pretty standard. And of course, once you've got one backup, if you want to keep a copy of your completed site, you can just hit the download button and download it. Like I say, we'll be doing this in a moment. We'll move this site, we'll migrate it somewhere else. Okay, just to make sure that this is working, let's go back to our site now. Let's change something. We'll add a word or something. We'll enable the visual builder. And we'll roll on down. Let's just go into this module here and we'll add a word perhaps in front of photography. There we go, we put that in there. Let's save our changes now. We'll exit the Visual Builder. And unfortunately, it does happen occasionally. Occasionally, something's going to happen to your site or you do some edits and you mess things up for some reason. Most common one is you download an update to something and something goes completely wrong and it breaks your site. So to restore your site, we can just go back to our WP Vivid Backup here. We can hit restore site, little button on the right hand side. Hit the restore button there. Make sure you say OK. And as you can see, it's starting to restore it, adding those files there. Now I sped that up. It took about a minute. Restore completed successfully. Let's hit the OK button. And we're back to the site. Now if I visit this site now, Remember we changed our island photography from photography to island photography. If we visit the site now, it's back to the photography. So it's restored it to how it was before. Very quick to do, nice little feature. Like I say, if things go wrong or you've done something and you've got a backup of it, you can restore it like that, especially if you're doing some major edits. But of course, the other great thing about this is you can migrate it completely to another site. And I quite often build sites for my client on localhost, then move them to a live site so they can see it with this. So let's do that. We've got our backup here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the download button. It's only 144 megs. I'm going to go ahead and download it. For anybody that didn't know, 
This is a little four page site. As you can see, it's got about four pages. We've got a home about portfolio and contact page. So now that I've downloaded this, let's go to the site that we want to actually overwrite here. And I've got another site here. It's just a site I use for testing things on and doing demonstrations for the videos and stuff like that. Let's overwrite this with our island photography site. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with our new site here, I want to make a backup copy of this in case I want to move it or restore it somewhere else. So let's go down to our dashboard on this site. And I'm going to install WP Vivid on here. So we're going to go down to plugins. Add a new plugin. WP Vivid. There it is. I'm going to install it again. And activate it. And here we are. Let's make a quick backup of this site. It's a little bigger, so it'll take a bit longer. There we go. That took about a minute. As you can see, it's popped it down here. Now I'm going to download this one just so we've got a backup copy. It's actually split it into three files. That's fine. We'll just download each of these. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this site. I'm going to migrate it from this URL. Over to this URL here. So on the new site that we just now installed the WP Vivid on, I would go to my backup file that we backed up from our original site just now. I've got it right here. There it is right there. And it's actually giving it the name, which was challenge. There, so you can tell which is which. What I'm going to do on our new site that we want to overwrite here, I'm going to hit the upload button. I'm going to drag my backup from my downloads. Hit the little upload button. It'll give you a little progress report as we're doing it. And we're into the 90% now. That's taken about a minute or so. Obviously dependent on your internet connection. Telling us the upload has completed. We hit our OK. It's showing our uploaded backup here. And we can tell because it's January the 31st, 25. I obviously uploaded it one back in February of 23 there. So we want to restore this backup that we just uploaded here. I'm going to go over to our restore button. Now bear in mind, you'll need the credentials, the login credentials for this site, once we do a restore on this side, because it's going to change the database. So let's hit restore. Quick hit the restore button one more time. And again, that's taken about a minute. I'm going to hit the OK. It's going to ask us to log in again. And we need the login credentials for this site, remember? So once you put your credentials in, hit the login. And we're in our site. Now, if we go to this page now and refresh, we've got our new site here. Just check all the pages. Absolutely perfect. So not only have we backed up this site that we had over here, we've downloaded it, we've migrated it to a completely new URL over here. Now, of course, if you want to return this site back to how it was just now, you know exactly how to do that. We go back down to our backups here. Here's the original one that we backed up, January 31, 2025. We hit restore on this one now. Hit restore again. And there we are. Again, that took about a minute. We'll hit the OK. It's going to ask us to log in once more. And we're back to our site. We go back to this page now on this URL and refresh. We've got our little Divi test site back again. As you can see, really simple operation, fantastic way of backing up your sites and migrating. And of course, don't forget, 
as we put it on a schedule, it's going to back it up as long as you check that mark there. It's going to back it up however you ask it to back it up. <laughs> and if in settings you've set it to three, it's going to keep three copies for you. But also, don't forget it can back up restore to an FTP, to the Google Drive, Dropbox, to your Microsoft OneDrive, any way you want to set it up. So it really is a fantastic system, especially for a free plugin, and can save you huge headaches just by doing this simple task. And I usually put this on all of my sites, and any time I've got to do some major updates, whether it's a WordPress update or plugin updates or edits, I'll always make a backup. So if things go pear-shaped, you can retrieve it very easily. So there you go, guys. Don't forget that name, WP Vivid. Free plugin, fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.